everyone, Lisa Monison here. Welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time here, thank you for joining me. I'm Lisa, I am with Olive Branch Home Studios and this channel, if you've never been here before, is got a little bit of everything, but most recently, my husband and I started Olive Branch Home Studios, which is a furniture upcycle as well as custom furniture builds. My husband hand builds a brand new piece of furniture, and then we also upcycle and refurbish other pieces of furniture that need some extra love. So today I figured we would do a quick tutorial and it'll be my very first time doing decoupage. So I figure what better way uh, for somebody that's brand new that might be wanting to try this too, to see an actual newbie uh, trying to put on the rice paper. So I'm going to be using from Dixie Bell, Bells and Whistles. This is the wood pattern. Uh, for the sides of some drawers here. So I will zoom up on those and we will get started. Um, they come three per sheet. That's the correct side. Three sheets in here and we have two drawers to do that are long. And so I'm gonna have to cut them specifically. So let's go ahead and Okay, so the first thing I realized with having just two drawers to do and only three sheets was that I needed to do the pattern uh, vertical and not horizontal. And by doing so, I could go ahead and just uh, match up the patterns. So this makes it when the drawers open that it will be perfectly lined up. Putting my polyacrylic down, laying the rice paper down, and then making sure that I trim off all those edges, place it down, and then of course uh, do my trimming. Now I didn't worry too much about the trimming being too perfect on the edges because I realized I could sand afterwards. And then after putting a good coat of polyacrylic on top, smoothing out any bubbles, using my true applicator sponge. And okay, so for my it. first time doing decoupage, that was interesting. It was fairly easy. I think the design that I chose for my first one with it being plank type, it's not like a crazy design. Like for example, let's see. Oh, I have a whole bunch over there that are different patterns and designs and having to match them up. I know for my first time would have been a lot harder. So I feel that I got this one, the sides down here. And what I'm gonna do is um, on the very top, I notice it's not a clean edge. So I'll just take some sandpaper once this is dry to it. But um, the rice paper was fairly easy. I mean, I'm working out, you know, there are some bubbles, but other than that, I mean, for my very first time, it wasn't too bad. So yeah, and I'm using a, a true applicator sponge. I decided to use that to kind of try to smooth it out. Um, I know I've seen some other amazing YouTubers such as Cristana with Bella Renavar. Hope I'm saying that right. Um, that use just a regular hand sponge. Um, I watched hers the other day and I was like, I gotta get ready to do this because it's time. So thank you for Kristana um, and her channel. If you haven't yet subscribed to her or watched her, if you're into uh, furniture upcycling, furniture flipping, or just furniture artists, because she is an amazing, amazing furniture artist. Um, you definitely need to tune into her channel and subscribe. So if you like this video and uh, the other videos that will be coming soon to this channel, please be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know if it's the first time you're ever doing uh, any kind of rice paper or decoupage or if you've been doing it for a while. Uh, I think it's fairly easy. I've got to do the other side and uh, this will help complete this amazing coffee bar armoire to make the size just a little bit of a peekaboo surprise. So have a great day and thanks for watching. See you soon. Bye-bye.